What's going on, YouTube? I Instinct Flows back with another reaction video. And today, boys and girls, today we are checking out Papa Roach Last Resort. Man, a lot of you guys have been wanting Papa Roach on the channel, so here we are. Before we start this video, slap that like button, boy, and subscribe and notification bells on. That way you guys never miss one of my uploads, man, because I'm telling you, YouTube be on that bullshit sometimes. You got to subscribe, hit the notification bell on, sign your life away, sign your unborn kids' life away, and all that shit just to get notified that I uploaded the video. But before we get started into the reaction, I do have a paid promo from this artist that goes by Intellect, and here's a 20-second clip of his song, boy! Moving, checking all my influences while I'm moving. Nice to meet you. How you doing? I can show you, but I'm too into myself to ever do it for free. I took some years of my life to figure out who I could be. Writing on this paper while Jax is producing the beat. I got my comments in the doubles and my likes by the triples while my views just continue to see. New heights, I took a few flights and made a few rights. So, peace. And if you guys want to check out that song, the song link will be in the description as well as the pinned comment. Now, without further ado, guys, let's get into this video, boy! Alright, so here we have it, Papa Roach, Last Resort. I have the lyrics pulled up on the side like always, and it shows here that this song is about the cutting and suicidal thoughts of one of the band's friends. Papa Roach, Last Resort held its ground on the Billboard Hot 100 for three straight months, making one of the most famous rock songs released that year. With the slower tempo drum beat contrasted with a quick dime melody, the instrumental composition almost sounds like a hip-hop instrumental composition all right so that's some fun fact about the song uh so without further ado let's get into these uh lyrics and see if we can break them down here man cut my life into pieces this is my last resort suffocation no breathing don't give a fuck if i cut my heart bleeding this is my last resort oh. Alright, before the, the verse starts, I gotta say, um, the intro goes, cut my life into pieces, this is my last resort, suffocation, no breathing, don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding, this is my last resort. These lyrics are intensely disturbing, allowing you to relate to the deep pain being expressed. This song is about suicide, as Kobe said it was um, about a close friend who was having issues in several interviews, including one with MTV back in 2000. Um, and this is quote unquote from him. I was just putting it out on the table. You know, this is what this guy went through and this is how he felt. It has a positive edge to it as far as like, don't succumb to it. Keep yourself afloat with these problems in your life. Find a friend you can confide in. Years later, he relates to it on a personal level because of his own struggle with sobriety, which led his song to his own struggle with suicide, um, as chronicled in the song before I die. Um, when songs about suicide come out, man, um, I appreciate them because they take music, which is so strong, to spread a message that should be heard by everyone in the world. And I, I'm loving the instrumental and the singing on this. I'm going to keep it going, bro. All right, that I love that guitar, man. That guitar is so fucking sick. The melody of that guitar, man. I see why they say that it kind of resembles a hip hop song, just how he came into it. Um, but even he says, "Do you even care if I die bleeding? Would it be wrong? Would it be right? Uh, if I took my life tonight, chances are that I might." Uh, right there, it says the narrator asked if anyone would care if he died while cutting, or if he just straight up killed himself. He actually considers. Um, considers that it might be the right thing to do 
this is a common belief with people with suicidal thoughts, which I do agree with that, man. When you're feeling suicidal, the one common thing that you have that goes through your head is just like, if I'm gone, it would nobody would care. That's one thing. And if I'm gone, so-and-so's life would be better. And that's one of the biggest things that comes to the mind of uh, suicidal like like thoughts, you know what I mean? So um, the point is, is that the fact that they added this into the song, man, I know a lot of people can relate to it. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably have gone through it. I've gone through it myself, and I know people that have gone through it. So this song, man, is lyrical. It has a message, and it has great melodies and great guitars. So I can see why this song broke records that year that it came out. Tell me I'm fine. Losing my mind. Who will tell me I'm fine? All right. Yeah. Okay, um, really quick, with that bridge right there, the I can't go on living it was this way, the way he broke down and slowed down when he was singing the words and he was whispering the words, that was very effective as um way on saying that as well. But it goes to saying I'm running and I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. I can't go on living this way. Um he's running away from his issues while crying because he feels overwhelmed. He's also crying out for help with his depression, feeling like he can't keep going on running away from his problems without any assistance. Um I feel like that that's pretty right, man. Um there comes to a point that when you're feeling suicidal, um you kind of like snap out of it. And now you're crying out for help and you're wanting people to help, but you won't ask people that for help but you won't admit to people you need help you kind of are just wanting somebody to recognize a problem or recognize the fact that you're feeling suicidal and help you but i feel like most when you're feeling suicidal you're not going to call out for help in a way that is so um so vivid for people to see you're going to like kind of like you know give hints here and there and most people don't catch up on those hints because people, one thing I, I notice is that people tend not to notice their suicidal friends or family members just because they think that that would never be part of their life. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I, I love that bridge lyric right there, bro. I'm loving this song, man. I can relate to it so much. In my mind, will tell me I'm fine. Losing my mind, when somebody will tell me I'm fine. Nothing's all fine. The way that they just did the, the guitar and the drums right there, like for that like five second drop, I really enjoyed that right there, man. Right. Is that the end?
right, guys. Uh, that was Papa Roach Last Resort. Um, message. I'm just gonna get this straight, man. Ten out of ten from me, man. Uh, message wise, I I love the fact that they were able to take such a strong message and such a uh powerful thing like you know what i mean like a powerful message in this song and because i'm telling you right now a lot of people that have had suicidal thoughts or have had suicidal attempts when it comes to this song they're going to relate to it and i feel like it's so beautiful the fact that they're able to take a issue like that man such a mental issue um and a problem um and put it into a song because they know that music is life like i have tattooed on my skin music is life and this song will help and did help i'm pretty sure thousands and thousands of people with suicidal thoughts man like i said it's a lot relatable um he wrote it from the point of view of suicidal thoughts because somebody did go through it within one of his close friends but he also suffers from it or suffered from it himself as well so he knows exactly what goes on with a uh suicidal thought person you know what i mean so message wise i absolutely love this song let's get into uh the instruments and everything being played i did enjoy the instruments I do see how Genius said that it kind of resembles a hip-hop feeling. I did feel like it did have a hip-hop feeling. That's one of those instrumentals that you can rap over it, which in the beginning, he kind of kind of was like a little bit of rapping in it. Um, The way he was singing it, too, he's changed it up, Um, even with the with the whispering. And then at the end, he did like a little scream as well. That was actually pretty cool. Um, Vocal-wise, absolutely perfection. Um. Now, I didn't notice any errors from my end, but again, this is not a live version. It's a studio version, so there shouldn't be any errors, but still a really great, great vocal, man. So that's why I rate this song a 10 out of 10. If you guys want me to check out Papa Roach in the future, let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you guys think about this song down in the below. What would you rate it and why? Don't forget to slap that like button. Subscribe and notification bells on. Check out all the links in the description, guys. I don't waste my time putting those links in there for no reason. Check out the links in the description. And I'll see you guys next time with another one.